Hey everyone, so um, it's been a while, uh, and I know I haven't really got had time to do any tutorials, so I thought I'd just make a video um, showing you what you know, I'm currently working on, um, trying to get done for for university stuff. Um, but uh, so that the whole game engine that I've been working on for a while is coming together. Um, I can render um, multiple things now. Um, you know, sort of intuitively. Um, so I'll show you. So it takes a bit to load there because I'm testing out loading uh, the speed of loading fonts. So as you can see, rendering up here is some Chinese stuff. And uh, as you can see, um, where I'll show you the font textures, there's quite a few of them. There's about 98 font files, I guess. Yeah. So. 98 textures. That's quite a that's quite a few. Um, uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna be looking at that and how to optimize it. Um, but yeah, so I got a little spinny cube. Um, I can also render uh, the the sprite batcher that I wrote before that you know renders sprites batched based on whether or not you know it's a unique texture. Um, that is still working. I have that rewritten. Um, so at this point I'm sort of just trying to get more advanced 3D rendering, lighting um, up and running. I also uh, was playing around with manifest files. So my, my screen is a high DPI screen. So um, that's why everything seems to look small because I have Windows uh, telling this application to scale correctly based on DPI. So um, say if I go full screen, uh, as you can see, you know, it's correct. Though this font needs to be pretty large. This is actually 24 pixel units uh, large, um, and it still looks pretty small. So uh, I'm still thinking about how I can go about letting people uh, edit some sort of config file where they can have their um, GUI elements scale based on uh, or pick the specific uh, type of or font size or you know graphic size based on whether or not uh, the re it's a high DPI screen or you know, a large resolution. Um, so that's about it, what I've been working on. Um, I mean, it's it's gotten quite big. You can look at the, uh, the GitHub if you want. Um, but I've removed, actually, out of here the audio library and the, um, the scripting library, though I still am developing those. Um, but yeah, this, you know, camera, shader programs, yeah, whatever. Um, so that's about it. That's what I'm working on. You can render bitmap fonts, sprites, and, uh, well, actually, you know, I'll show you this sprite rendering because it's kind of lame if I don't show that. So, uh, what did I just do? So, basically to render something, uh, renderer, I have a, uh, a GL renderer, so of course this is, you know, I specify that. Um, I cast this because this actually exists as the, uh, the interface type renderer, because when I originally designed this engine, I was hoping to, you know, eventually maybe delve into making a DirectX backend, but... At this point, there's no actual plans to do that in any near future. Um, but there's a render 2D texture. And of course, I can, you know, render this. Uh, I'll render it 50 50, vector 2, um, 32 32 32 32, vector 2. 16, 16, uh, vector 2, 1, 1, 
zero for the rotation, um, white for the color because I want it to be, uh, and what did I do wrong? Oh, so. There we go. Position. Oh, that's a rectangle. Make mistakes. Um, so, if I were to run this, as you can see, there's a little sprite here. Um, so, there you go. I mean, that's the three types of rendering I currently have. Um, and I'll be actively implementing more. I've, I'm also going to be uh, porting this, or at least building it for Linux to see if it runs on Linux, because um, that's part of one of my class uh, class assignments at university. So um, that's what I'm going to be working on. So thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more in the coming months.